Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tanya Jain and I'm a first year PG resident in radiology and I'm back with the next set of videos post this year's NEET PG. So this video is particularly for interns and post interns who are targeting the next set of exams whether it's November NICT or the next year's NEET and it's just about how to basically start your prep how to get in the groove and have like a roadmap to move forward this year so first things first we will do what we are best at that is making schedules so we will make a gross subject wise schedule so that uh, your basic things are over at least your first read that is it's over uh, at least two to two and a half months before your targeted exam now we'll keep it simple so we karna kya hai subject wise schedule mein? we have to do that subject ke notes we have to complete those notes read those notes simultaneously we have to attempt questions so we have to do the question bank of that particular subject and at the end of that week we will do a test and discussion of that subject then revise that test and discussion so this will go on and on till you complete all 19 subjects and beach may every two weeks we will start to do a grand test its frequency will increase as we move closer to the exam but for now we at least have to start with it so now coming to notes so notes is your foundation right you don't want to compromise on your first read at this point of time hum kya sochte hain ki seedha rapid revision dekh le and you know seedha we do some shorthand notes or some sort of revision but revision will come after we've done our basics once properly right so don't compromise on this first read and read your notes well uh, secondly many a times when we have entered internship we are basically uh, we have some pendencies left like maybe be pendencies thi which mainly consisted of a few subjects of uh, the basic sciences that is first and second year and a couple of short subjects so पहले क्या करना है ये पेंडेंसीज कंप्लीट करनी है बिकॉज टूवर्ड्स द एंड क्लोजर टू द एग्जाम यू विल लिटरली नॉट हैव द टाइम और द मोटिवेशन टू वॉच योर प्रॉपर वीडियोज और यू नो कंप्लीट योर बेसिक नोट्स अगेन एट दैट टाइम उस टाइम पे आपको रिविजन का सोचना है सो इस टाइम पे यू विल डू योर ग्राउंड वर्क कंप्लीट ऑल योर नोट्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपके फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड ईयर सब्जेक्ट सारे बचे हुए हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो यू विल स्टार्ट बाई प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दीज सब्जेक्ट्स फर्स्ट like this week suppose you have thought that you will do say uh, 50% units of anatomy so you will watch the videos complete your notes for them simultaneously start doing question bank as well like aaj agar maine embryo padha so tomorrow i will try to do the question bank of embryo to see just how much i retain from those notes and you know it will be sort of like an active revision for you as well so i will complete the 50% topics of anatomy this week and give my test and discussion for anatomy part 1 at the end of this week and revise it so aise kar kar ke we have to make a schedule such that pehle hum hamari pending subjects lagaye and then subsequently the subjects that jiske notes hamari complete hai aur we have done them properly once so like that we will complete our entire subject wise cycle of note making or note revising for the first time now coming to sources so uh, you can pick one source and stick to it itna overthink karna uh, like you know it will just waste a lot of time don't keep on doing the same thing from a place a b c d itne zyada accumulate notes karne ki zarurat nahi hai almost all places have notes that are good enough and you can go ahead with them uh, for me personally i did most of my subjects from dams and which i had made most of my notes in third and finally or but a few exceptions that i had was anatomy uh, from dr ashwini bhatia uh, institute then pharma from dr gobind rai garg which i attended his live classes back in second year surgery dr ruvan khandelwal from maro uh, derma as well from maro and uh, medicine i did uh, from dams but i also explored uh, dr deepak marwa's videos towards the end so that is also a good source uh, if you have that and you can stick to it secondly very important uh, is your question bank so you have to get in a habit of doing questions every day so starting with 2 to 3 modules a day up to uh, you know 5 modules or 150 questions a day when it's close to the exam so hum hamare paas itna time nahi ki pehle we do the uh, you know reading or making sub sare notes of all subjects and then start doing the question bank 
नहीं वी हैव टू स्टार्ट डूइंग इट साइमल्टेनियसली ओनली सो देर आर टू वेज टू डू योर क्वेश्चन बैंक वन इज द सिंपल आज जो टॉपिक किया टुमोरो वील डू क्वेश्चन ऑफ दैट टॉपिक एंड सी हाउ मच वी रेकलेक्ट फ्रॉम आर प्रीवियस रीडिंग सेकेंडली हम रेटोग्रेड भी कर सकते हैं दैट इज यू नो सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू डू एंटी माइक्रोबियल्स आई वॉन्ट टू स्टडी एंटी माइक्रोबियल्स टूडे लाइक मेक नोट्स और यू नो गिव माई फर्स्ट रीडिंग ऑफ द नोट्स सो पहले आई विल सी अ कपल ऑफ मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ एंटी माइक्रोबियल्स एंड सॉल्व दोज क्वेश्चन सो वट एवर आई रिमेंबर फ्रॉम द पास्ट आई विल नो दैट दीज आर माई वीक एरियाज दिस इज वॉट हैव टू फोकस ऑन मोर दिस इज वॉट दे आर आस्किंग मोर सो इट विल बी अ बेटर रीडिंग ऑफ यू नो एंटी माइक्रोबियल्स हाउ एवर यू नो दिस दिस वुड वर्क बेटर अगर आपने पहले या तो अपने प्रॉफ ईयर में बहुत अच्छे से यू हैव रेड दैट सब्जेक्ट और यू हैव रेड दीज नोट्स वंस बिफोर सो दैट वे इज योर नोट रीडिंग विल बी मोर इफेक्टिव बट यू कैन डू एंटेरोग्रेड एज वेल लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल डू इट एंड इट्स इफेक्टिव डोंट वरी अबाउट इट As for sources, uh, I did a mix of Marrow and Dams Q Bank. Uh, Dams Q Bank is a little one step uh, higher in terms of difficulty level, and Marrow Q Bank is sort of standard. So you can do any uh, any one that you're comfortable with, and you know that uh, has a good interface, and you're uh, happy doing. Thirdly, Q Bank is something you can really utilize well along with your internship. यू नो ऐसा नहीं होता है कि आप ऑल द टाइम कुछ ना कुछ काम कर रहे हो देर इज यू नो देर इज यू आर ट्रैवलिंग टू वर्क एट वर्क देर आर टाइम्स वेन यू आर जस्ट सिटिंग आइडल सो उस टाइम पे ऑन योर फोन इफ यू कैन अटैम्प्ट क्वेश्चन इन डू क्यू बैंक यू कैन रियली यूटिलाइज योर टाइम वेल एंड इट विल स्टिम्युलेट योर माइंड एंड यू नो उस टाइम पे नोट्स खोल के पढ़ना इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो इफ यू यूटिलाइज दैट टाइम इन डूइंग क्वेश्चन इन जस्ट डूइंग योर क्वेश्चन बैंक एंड क्वेश्चन इट विल रियली हेल्प यू आउट now coming to a test and discussion this is something i really really recommend that you uh, invest in a test and discussion course from anywhere uh, but it really helped me out during my internship year before the exam so test and discussion kya karta hai one is it puts you in a schedule so when i made my subject wise schedule i actually followed the one that was given to me by the institute ki agar if they have scheduled the test and discussions in such a way i decided to go ahead and study in that particular way in that uh, particular schedule so test and discussion mein kya hota hai firstly you have a deadline that you have to complete your notes in your question bank as much as possible till the date of the test secondly you have to make a separate notebook for each test and discussion test mein aap jitna bhi score karo you don't have to get bogged down too much by that but you have to make the discussion notes very very well believe me they will be your revision notes at the end and um, har jagah kahin se bhi aap test and discussion karo they sort of construct it in a way that it has a lot of high yield things it has updates and it has a lot of uh, theory and last minute revision things and even lot of images so i really recommend that you uh, you know just complete any test and discussion properly make proper notes of it and such that you can revise apni previous notes wali notebook mein please don't add extra points while you're making your tnd discussion बिकॉज उससे क्या होगा आपके वो पुराने नोट्स ही बल्कि हो जाएंगे एंड यू विल नॉट हैव अ कंसाइज रिविजन सोर्स जो कि हमारा एम था देन सेकेंडली एवरीबडी इज वेरी कन्फ्यूज वेदर टू डू फिजिकल टेस्ट एंड डिस्कशन और इन ऑनलाइन वन सो बिकॉज आई हैड एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दैम बिकॉज इन द मिडल ऑफ द ईयर हमारा लॉकडाउन हो गया था सो इनिशियली आई वॉज गोइंग फॉर द फिजिकल टेस्ट एंड डिस्कशन एंड इफ यू हैव इवन वन फ्रेंड और यू नो कोलीग हु इज विलिंग टू गो अलॉन्ग विद यू फॉर फिजिकल टेस्ट एंड डिस्कशन it's a very good idea to do that because one thing is you are motivated to go aapko matlab pata hai ki us din uh, you will be able to complete that test and discussion for sure online test discussions ka time bahut increase ho jata hai even though we think that at our home uh, at our own convenience we can watch them on 2x but it does take a lot of motivation and considerable time uh, to do that online tnd However, I understand कि Delhi जैसी जगह में internships are very very hectic. It is समटाइम it sometimes becomes very difficult for you to attend physical tests and discussions. But like somehow you have to convince your seniors and everybody and request them that so that you know you're allowed to go for um, the TND. But if this is a very big issue for you, you can uh, most places are also offering like a flexible uh, schedule to you and you know you can attend it face to face as well as uh, online. 
so you can do that uh, whatever you do make sure you're on that schedule and you're not postponing uh, you know postponing your test and discussion unnecessarily ye nahi karna hai stick to that schedule and complete things on time as for sources i did most of my tnds from dams and a few subjects from bhatia as well so both of these were very very good and they were very well structured so you can do either of them or some uh, other institute as well but it's very important that you do a test and discussion now finally coming on to the thing that is most most important that is giving a grand test now many people are so apprehensive in the beginning ki hum pehle itne subjects pad lenge itne test and discussion de denge uske baad hi we will attempt a grand test this is not what you're supposed to do you should start giving gts right now like just after this video even yesterday was too late for having given a gt because that is your main thing that is how you're going to give your exam skill if you're reading you know subject wise you will lose a little bit of touch with other subjects but when you're doing a gt you have all the subjects together and it's okay if you score less in the beginning aapka pura syllabus kabhi khatam nahi ho payega so that you can attempt the best gt of your life aise kabhi nahi hoga you have to build that skill over time and to build that skill you have to start giving it at least so please please start giving gts as soon as possible assess yourself review those gts and then move forward to giving more and more so this is the most most important part of your preparation lastly for people who are beginning their internship or have just begun uh, you know it becomes very difficult uh, sort of to understand uh, where to draw the line uh, you're so conflicted ki internship mein jitna kaam hai us kaam pe bahut zyada focus kare ya fir uh, tnds ke liye bhage apni neet pg preparation pe zyada focus kare so you have to strike a balance of course you are expected to work every day and internship also you know it consists of a lot of clerical work which may or may not help you in your neat pg preparation but uh, at the same time you are doing you know you are putting cannulas every day you are uh, putting do you are doing a lot of practical stuff that is increasingly being asked in the exams so uh, pick the be- uh, you know best parts of internship go for rounds um, you know try to understand the clinical approach to every patient this is especially if important if you've not attended wards earlier in your postings you know in your pre final and final year so try to do the things in internship that will benefit you in the long run if you're putting a tube in a patient if you're putting a foley catheter it's good that you should know the correct method because they are asking these things in the exams so be well aware of uh, the theoretical aspects of these practical things and uh, try to build a clinical approach in during your internship and remember that just being an intern is not your primary goal this year your primary goal is to clear neat pg so you have to have to invest you know a lot of time and effort and motivation into that you can't just keep being an intern and ignoring that very important aspect of this year so uh, just keep all of these things in mind and uh, start a fresh whether you're an intern or a post intern who's just starting your preparation for next year all the very very best and bye bye